tape. Both fighters are in their prime. 30 years of age. They come in a five foot nine. That's generous for Canelo Alvarez. Callum Smith, six foot three. Again, that is a, a seven or a six inch or an eight inch height advantage. And it is a seven and a half inch reach advantage. So they're both 168. They will look vastly different in the ring here tonight. Feeling out process now in round one. Canelo was accepting this pace against Sergey Kovalev in his last fight. It'll be interesting to see if he's accepting of that pace in this fight. Body shot there by Callum Smith off the combination. And I would think Sergio Callum Smith needs to build confidence in this fight, right? In this round, and even just landing a shot. Okay, this guy's a superstar. I was just able to touch him. And he already touched him twice to the body, and I think that's, he's already getting confidence with that. Canelo is inching his way in. He's real calm, he wants to take his time. Callum knows him, that's why he's not committing to that long, strong jab that he has, but he is committing to those body shots. Jab snaps back the head of Callum Smith, and Canelo goes to work with the hook. The right hand was blocked. Let's see if they engage. Smith for being, having such a long reach. He has a beautiful short right hand. That was a good jab by Callum Smith. He was able to land there. Final minute of round number two. Most of that first round, according to copy box, fought at distance nearly the entire round, and you would figure that would favor the six foot three fighter in the ring and not the five foot eight fighter. Two jabs both land from Canelo as he starts to get his range and close in. Able to step out, make Smith miss with the left and the right. Good defensive work by Canelo Alvarez. He has excellent head movement. Jab again in the right hand from Canelo. Sergio, he's closing the gap now. He's been closing the gap, and he's doing it quietly. Canelo is. Notice how, notice, look at the, his feet. Look at, they're, they're basically stepping on each other right now. This is what Canelo could explode. landed an uppercut. That was a nice shot, but Canelo comes back, and he is throwing much harder right now. Gets Callum Smith up on the ropes, lands a right hand. I tell you, that was beautiful head movement by Canelo Alvarez in a hard hook. He, he, you saw Callum Smith land an uppercut. He tries the uppercut again, and he tried to land then more shots, and Canelo just got out of the way, and Smith was just punching the air. You see the scorecard right there from Chris Maddox. Last three rounds going to Canelo. And you could have it all, Canelo. So far, first round was close. A good right hand by Canelo, and he goes back to the body with a combination. 90% of the fight at distance in the first two rounds, and now 32% of the fight in close range. Canelo is moving forward, and he's landing, and he's making Callum Smith miss. You wonder if Callum Smith has the pop to drive Canelo back and do some damage. Sergio, it doesn't look like he's got that through six rounds. No, he has, he definitely has the pop. He just can't, he, he probably, he can't push Canelo back. This entire fight, we only see Canelo coming forward. Callum Smith hasn't imposed his size or his will coming forward. Right now, it's all Canelo coming forward. Look at how he's cutting off the ring. No respect for, uh, for uh, Callum Smith. Also, Sergio, nice up and cut there by Callum Smith. He tries with the hook. Good quick combination by Callum Smith for the jab straight up the middle. Even when he blocked that right hand, as a good from, Ca from Canelo, it drove him back. Smith fights back off the ropes. He was able to duck, drop George Groves with a counter right hand, and he was able to drop him with a catch, catching counter left hook. Both hands are dangerous, but he's not letting him go. Canelo has landed 50 power shots, 27 of them to the body. So he knew with the physical matchup, 6-3 and 5-8, he was going to go to the body. That was a body shot that he stopped Liam Smith. So of course he's going to the body, and effectively. That shot's blocked, but that right hand was. And we've seen this, we've seen this with Kovalev. He didn't throw no punches. We've seen this with Jacobs. He didn't throw enough punches. Golovkin. Lead uppercut by Canelo and then a right hand. 
You know what, Sergio? Canelo just provides such a tight package coming at you. And then when you throw a shot, if he's able to move or counter, it's just so difficult to beat him. Counter punching, it really, it really doesn't let you do anything. Even Chavez Jr., if you remember that, right watch. He just stood against the ropes. Fast hands make you want to not punch. Good combination there by Callum Smith. He gets a little more active, throwing his hands. Power punches so far. Nearly two to one for Canelo. Look at that percentage. 60% of how much just landed for Canelo Alvarez. Just missed that right hand. Doubling up on the right hand as well. Canelo looks comfortable. He is walking in. He is stalking. And looks to walk down Calvin Smith. Good right hand there by Smith. Canelo gets a little lazy walking in. He gets hit. And you're right, look, he's just, he's just not showing respect now. He's not taking shots and saying, no, I'm going to keep walking in. Keep going with that right hand. Canelo did. Cutting right hand, those shots blocked. But they're popping on each other, laying the wood to each other. And if they both do that, I think we know who's going to win that battle. Uppercut from Canelo. Brings the head up on Smith. Canelo fighting with no fear. Smith is very game. Eats a jab. Round nine scheduled for the championship 12. It has been uh, mostly Canelo Alvarez as he fires off and lands a right hand and then a jab back. So Smith fighting back in that last round. But Canelo gets under the hook and goes to work. Uppercut landed as he moves in and some blood now coming from the nose of Callum Smith. That was a hard body shot in the right hand. Chris Mannix giving two rounds so far to Callum Smith. You know, a lot of Mexican fighters do that. Chavez used to do that. I remember Antonio Margarito used to do that. Just roll with the punches. It looks like it lands, but when you see it in slow motion, it's he's rolling with the power. Smith is getting beat up. He cannot stand there and take those shots. Blood now pouring from his nose. He weighs in. He is giving it everything he has. And now back up against the ropes toward the corner. Dangerous territory for Smith. Smith is hurt. Buckled on the ropes. That the ropes kept him up, but he's able to move off and gain his footing. One of the hardest shots of the night. He fights back and fires with his own combination. Champion fighting back with everything he has. Oh, oh the uppercut there, and that was a fake with the a fake with the jab. Uppercut Sergio, and it strafed the front of his face. Callum Smith, the champion of the world, is getting busted up. Uppercut in the right hand. Fires back a hook, trying to get respect. Final 30 seconds of the ninth round. Look at Smith go to work and try to drive the middleweight champion back. But you see just a little bit of give on Callum Smith. Right hand, he's hurt. Smith is hurt. Uppercut landed. That body shot hurt Smith quite a bit. Canelo has 20 seconds. Looking for just the right shot that could possibly end this fight. Oh. Hard right hand. Callum Smith is getting beaten down, but he hasn't stopped firing back. That was a very rough round for the super middleweight champion. I think it's because he has the legs, he has the freshness. We've seen him do a little dance like three rounds ago. I've never seen Canelo dance either. He's feeling light on his feet, and he's definitely punching heavy. Smith was hurt by that shot to the body, to the side. And then the uppercut straight up the middle, and the jab as well. Canelo just walking comfortably to Callum Smith, and a hard body shot. Coming forward yet again, blood pouring from the nose of Callum Smith. Final 15 seconds of this 10th round. Oh, hard right hand by Alvarez and a body shot as well. Smith drops his hands low for a moment to suck in some air. Snapping off the jab, and he's landing over 50% of his shots as well. He's accurate, not wasting shots, moving his head. The total package. Not that Smith isn't trying. Trying everything he can. But this is a different animal. Right hand. That hurt Smith. That got Smith on the forehead. That bubbled his knees. Another right hand after the hook. Smith fights back.
and in the corner of Canelo Alvarez. How about a perfect round? Sure. <laughs> that would be terrific. 12th and final round, super middleweight championship of the world. Canelo Alvarez comes out firing. He has looked superb and punishing here tonight. And Canelo has bullied Smith the entire fight. He will try to go for the knockout. He will try to close the show. Canelo's going for it here. You can see hard right hand tried there by Smith. Canelo answered with the right hand. Approaching the final minute of the 12th round. And now Callum Smith will try to tie up Canelo. Trying to buy a little time and met with booze here in San Antonio. Because Smith is looking up at the clock. He wants to stand already, and that's why the fans are looking at that. You can't blame him. Hard footing right hand again. And a body shot from Canelo trying to close the show. Can he finish with a knockout? I don't think there's much question, if any question, on the scorecards. I mean, there can't be. But Callum Smith trying to end this fight on his feet. Canelo Alvarez with the look of a three-division world champion. <laughs> 154, 160, and he should be the super middleweight champion of the world. We have a quick decision. Let's go to the ring and David Diamante. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of action here in San Antonio, we go to the judges' scorecards. Steve Weisfeld and Rafael Ramos both scored about 119 to 109. Steve Morrow scored this contest 117 to 111. All three for your winner by unanimous decision. El 